Now this feature is one of my favorites. It's a lot of fun and very easy. And it's called Crazy Mixed Up Faces. And it starts with a piece of paper, 9 by 12, nothing special, any kind of paper will do. And then what you do is you fold it in thirds, just like that, press down and it'll look like this. And then I've drawn some lines on it. And you'll see why in a moment, because we're going to draw some faces now. Now watch this. Tape this down and draw some zany, wacky cartoon faces. Get my marker right here and start. Now, I've drawn these lines because what I want to do is I want to have the eyes in the top part and the nose in the second part and the mouth in the bottom. Just like that. Look at that big smile and his tongue and this is all darkened in. And here's his lower lip. Now uh, let's see. Let's make him an artist type. Give him a little mustache. And let's see. And a beret. And I'm an artist. I don't have a beret and I don't have a mustache. You know what? I gotta get one. Some hair on the sides and tops. And in the center one, we have to have the ears. And continue that line all the way down. And come up and put the ear in, just like that. And that takes care of that face. All right, now we're going to fold this over. And on this one here, we'll draw another face. And again, keeping in mind those lines. So we'll draw a woman. And on the top part, we'll draw her eyes. Draw some ovals like this. And we'll cut them right in half like that so she can be either sleepy, she could be pondering, and some eyebrows, and in the center, put her nose, bottom will put her mouth, her lips, just like that, and let's see, give her some hair on the top, let's give her bangs, yeah, I like that, and continue this line all the way down the side, and when she's asked who does her hair, she says, my cartoonist. That's me, folks. And here's her chin. And a couple earrings. How's that? And some lines like this to indicate she's got a red cheeks. Oh, she's a good character. All right, now on this side here, we're going to draw the third character. All right, let's give him an oval and wacky, zany looking, dazed eyes. Look at that. And no hair on top. And ears on this panel. And Here's the bottom part. Here's his other ear. Let's give him a set of buck teeth here. All right. Now, you can add as much detail as you like when you have more time. And then what you do is using those pencil lines as guidelines, get a scissors and start cutting right up until the center. Don't cut through the center. Go right up to that first fold like that. Turn it over and do the same thing on the other side. You are absolutely going to love this. Where do you see this? And here's the other one. Now, for the sake of time, I've got one all finished up with color and everything, and all the pencil lines are erased and everything, and it will look just like this. And you see? Now, what I've also done on another piece of paper is I've done the same thing, except I didn't draw one in the center. And the reason why is because I'm going to lay this one right in the center like that. Okay, now, here comes the fun part. Ready? Okay. I'll tape this down right like this. All right. Now, here he is. There's the artist type. Now, by swinging these barn door type flaps over, look at this. Look at these crazy combinations. Oh, that's a good one. I like that. Oh, boy. Wait a minute. This gets crazier. Now. The more sheets of paper here, that's what she looks like. But ready? Watch this. Uh-oh. Oh, no. no, no ready? This is going to... That's it. There you go. <laughs> the more sheets of paper that you use, the crazier the combinations, and the wackier it gets. There you go. No, all right. That's got to be my favorite right there. We'll end with that one. 